Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Why are our bags all out, outside? Our bags are outside because we're about to check out. We've been in the west of Masbati in Polani for three nights. However, yesterday was a garbage day and it was cloudy and overcast and it rained so we didn't record a single thing. Mm -hmm. We sent some emails, I made a fabulous new poster for us um, to send in some emails and we just caught up on some things that we probably should have done a long time ago. Mm -hmm. but like we wash all our clothes. <laughs> well yeah, that's the only thing we didn't catch up on. We smell again. We smell regularly here on this channel. Mm -hmm. so good job that it's not smell vision that you're watching us on. But today we're going to leave Masbati and we're going to head to an island called Tikau. I think I'm saying it right. I'm probably not though. And um, we're going to stay there for two nights and then we might stay there one extra night but we've got five nights before we have to head back to Manila. But there's another island that we want to just jump to before we head to Legazpi to fly north. So without further ado, one moustache. <laughs> goodbye Avram. It's been a pleasure knowing you. <laughs> Do you realise you say goodbye to every single room? Like, it was I like, get attached to our was, rooms, you know. It was nice staying in you. It was nice staying in, in you's beach. Oh, I'm gonna miss the beach. Let's do this. Well, we've got a lift down to the city by our accommodation owners. Typical of our bags taking up all the space in the back of the van, <laughs> as usual. There we go. Right, we're okay. in. Yeah. Thank you. Every time that my mind slip, I just see my past life. Having dreams in a dream, I wonder why I carried on with the things that made you lose your mind. There's no way I can undo what I've done Can we be strangers against our fresh like a morning? What's so bad about that? So I Harness on the roads right now So we've just arrived back in Masbati City We've just got a tricycle straight to the port which is only about one kilometer away, so hopefully we can get on the boat nice and quick straight to Tikal. Muscle man. Now we have to balance. <laughs> oh, we got there in the end. Two attempts. Second Sorry. attempt lucky. So we got a tricycle to the port. Took us to the port to go to Legazby. That's not the one we wanted. So we got another tricycle. It's so cheap, yeah. Tricycle from the... I think you pay like 10 peso for a local fare. Then if you go onto the other side of the city, it's 15 peso and that's per person. So we paid... 15 peso to go from the bus terminal to the port. Probably was a 10 peso journey, but we gave them the 30 anyway, because we're not sure. And then we got to the wrong port, and the guy was like, oh, go to the fish port, that's where you need to be. And it was eight peso each, so we just gave them the 20. And then it, to get on the boat, to go from Masbati City to Takao Island, it's 10 peso per person for the boat. And then we got a little special treatment because we were stood at the side and we were like, oh, we'll just stand here for the, for the journey, it's okay. They went and got us a bench all for ourselves to sit on the deck. And it kind of makes me feel a little bit awkward because you've got, you look inside and everybody's packed like a sardine. And then there's us sitting here with our own bench at the front and that's kind of uncomfortable for me as a Western person because it kind of makes me feel like I'm a, a privileged person and I'm not, I'm just a normal person. So who knows? whether if we were first on we'd be in there or what probably would be it's probably not a special treatment but it still makes me feel like oh i hope no one's looking at us thinking privileged westerners <laughs> <laughs> 
won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine, yes I ran out of town There's no hope for me, I fell down the bottom So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you, then let me make a 3D print Like what I do So you Faded out while I watched it Damn obsessed with myself Wanna hit the reverse on what's broken Can we be strangers Against our friends Like a morning But what's so bad about that So why won't you follow why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine Yes, I ran out of town There's no hope for me I fell down the bottom So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you Then let me make a 3D print Of you for a trek to get here. It's unreal. Have a look, have a little look. So this is our place in Takao Island Resort. Little bungalow. With a, I think it has a shared bathroom. But look at the grounds. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. This is our room. Just means that I got the whole bed to myself. And this guy's not gonna steal any room. That's what I just said to you. No, no, no. He always gets sad when it's a single bed. Don't ya? Certainly not. Yes you do, you little liar. Certainly not. Tell them all how you're sad. I am not sad. He's lying, he's trying to make out like he's emotionless. Ugh. We're all checked in. We've seen our room. It's lovely. I'm just sitting on the beach. Feeling grateful for the fact that I'm here. And we just had so, we didn't have any expectations for Takao. I didn't have any expectations for Masbati. I was actually kind of nervous about coming because we know that nobody comes here. So we know nobody that's been. We know no one that's done it other than Kai and he's only come to Takao really in Sorsagon. So we were a bit nervous about, about going somewhere that was completely, like we like to go off the track, but we go off the track on the islands that have the tourists and this one doesn't. So it was just one of those situations where we had to take a chance. And I'm telling you right now, it absolutely paid off because this has to be one of the most stunning places I think that we've been in the Philippines. It was an absolute trek to get up to this resort. The road is by no means civilized, if that's even the right word. Um, but it's just it's so beautiful. Our resort is just a row of 11 cabanas. 
It's just horses walking around because Masbati is known for its ranch and cowboy kind of background. So there's just horses walking around that you're allowed to just ride whenever you want for free. Um, they've got kayaks that you can just go and use for free and go out into the bay because we're in a bit of a cove. And they've got also a firefly cruise that you can go down towards the mangrove forest which is a little bit further down the beach. I think we're going to do that tonight. So I decided to come down to the beach and fly the drone and show you exactly where we're staying from the sky. Then we're going to have some dinner and go on a firefly cruise. There are so many fish jumping in and out of the water as I'm talking to you. Swinging on my hammock, having a great time. I'm just so grateful that I get to do this and take you guys with us. Because I know that there's a lot of people who watch these who don't get the opportunity to to go and physically see what we see and do what we do and a lot of hard work and a lot of saving and we miss out on so much a lot of sacrifices are made back home in England just so that we have the ability to do this and I wouldn't change a single thing because it's amazing I'm so glad that we're vlogging it so that you can also if you don't have them opportunities to do this see them through our eyes and I'm so hopeful that we do a good job so let us know. Let us know what you think. Heard you said you feel lonely. I don't want you to feel like that. Find all the pieces for something that truly matters. Keep fighting, keep smiling. Brain box over here decided to stand in an ant's nest. A red ant nest, that would bite my leg. <laughs> so how did your first, well I say first, how did your it's definitely not my first flight. second flight go this that year? Sunset flight in Kota Kiev, last year in Cambodia, that was me. Mm -hmm. And I've also done another flight over here somewhere, also me, can't remember what one. Um, is, that, is that your yeah. second one this year? It's my second one this year. How did it go? It was successful. Almost lost the drone. No, it didn't. It almost <laughs> lost me, actually. It lost signal, but luckily it recorded the home point, so it just came back to me because I'm irresistible. But yeah, no crashes. Fly, flight went well. Yeah, it was a successful flight. Now I'm going to go and put some DEET on. And then at 6.30 we're going to have dinner. We're going to go back to our room via the horses because they're just roaming around. And then we're going to take you on a firefly tour this evening, I think, if we do it. Um, it's something that our accommodation offers. If we haven't told you already, this is an absolutely gorgeous resort. What's the name of it? Uh, Tikau Island Resort. Ah, Apparently there's two on the island. This is... what one's this? Next to Ultim... No. Ultima. Ultima. Is that, is, that, is that what it's called? No idea. Multima? I don't we'll, know. Um, we'll let you know. It'll pop up right now. The name of it. Um, but it's beautiful. You come down, you're literally driving like this dirt track for five kilometres and you're just like, where am I going? We're going to be in the middle of the field. <laughs> with nothing around us to do. And then you arrive and there's horses roaming around. You're on the beach. You've got the firefly tour. They do island hopping. Um, you can do your diving here, so we've been contemplating whether to do our open water because we've never done diving before, so we're contemplating whether to start that. Uh, we've got four days until we fly, five days until we fly actually. But you're not allowed to fly for, for your last day, apparently 24 hours before your flight according to Paddy, so don't ask me, you made the rules. Mm. So other than that, I'm not really sure how we're going to spend our next few days because we were only planning on staying here for two nights and then we were going to go to Sorsagon. However, plans may have changed. Because here you can go and see the, ba the, the baby sharks when you go snorkeling on the boat tour on the island hopping. And if you do the diving, you can go and see the whale sharks. So. Decisions to be made. No idea what we're going to do. But the whole point of going to Saucer was to go and try and see the whale sharks. But if you can do the diving here, 
see the whale sharks while you're diving. I think we're in the wrong season for them because we're currently in March. You're probably going to watch this in about end April. Of April. <laughs> um, and the whale shark season is May. But, fingers crossed, we might get a little bit of action because it would be an absolute dream to see them. But not in Oslob. No. Not in Oslob. So who knows? You'll know when we know. Well, no, that's not true. We'll have done it by the time you know. And you'll probably have seen how it was as well, so. <laughs> so this is our room, one of them. And this is a luxury cabana, which is expensive. However, look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Where's not a happy horse? It's got a cut on its eye. <laughs> Look at him running away. <laughs> Come on, Via! No, it's actually coming for you. <laughs> Hello, baby. You've still got your fluffy fur. You must be brand new. All right, so give us all a, a rundown on how much we paid to get here, basically, from A to B. Today we came from Polani, on the west of Masbati. We got um, a lift from the people who own at the resort that we were staying on, and they took us to Balud Town Centre. From Balud Town Centre, you can get a van going straight back to Masbati city for 140 peso per person. But if you get bags, you are gonna pay extra. It always happens to us. Uh, we paid 420 peso for the van, which took us to the bus terminal, where we paid 30 peso to a tricycle driver to take us to the port. Wrong port, mm -hmm. may I add. So we then paid 20 peso for another tricycle driver to take us to the fishing port. So if you want to come to Tikau from Masbati, you have to go to the fishing port. And from the fishing port, you'll pay a 10 peso terminal fee. We thought we were paying for the ticket and we were like, oh my God, that's so cheap. Wrong, it's a terminal fee. When you're on the boat, you'll pay 100 peso per person for the boat. Then when you get off the boat, you will be harassed to death by drivers. So when we got off on Tikal port, um, there is a van. I don't know how much it was because we didn't ask. There's a public bus, which is 70 peso per person, which takes you straight up to the San main city Jacinto. of San Jacinto. And then from San Jacinto to the island resort, it was 200 peso Per bike. per bike yeah so we got a bike each obviously because we had too much stuff so it cost us 400 peso to get to our resort when you get to your resort they do have um the option of paying for things online so for example this place does actually run your paddy you can do your paddy here um we didn't have enough cash to pay in cash for our paddy so we were looking at possibilities and they do take PayPal, but make sure you've got data before you come because their Wi-Fi isn't strong enough. And other than that, everything gets charged to your room. So you just pay at the end. It's very relaxed, very chilled out and they've got so many things to do. You don't really need to leave your resort while you're staying. Generally, everything else is pretty cheap. Our room was 777 pesos per night. So that took us to £22 for two nights, £11 a night, which is like £5.50 per person, which is a bargain. There's not really much more to tell you. It's a shared bathroom, but it's right beside your room, so you don't even have to go out of your way to go there. It's pretty perfect, to be honest. It's absolutely gorgeous. Pretty sweet, sweet little location. Perfect location. Obviously, other than the trek getting here, my heart was in my mouth, because we all know I'm not a fan of bikes. But... When you get here, it is wow factor. You go, oh my God, wow, as soon as you get here. So you're greeted with a drink. They get you a nice juice and the food portions of oh, sizes. Mate, that sandwich I got earlier. <laughs> yeah, a sandwich. He hasn't stopped talking about it for two hours <laughs> to the point where he got another one for his dinner. Yeah. Food sizes are good and the 
they have different budgeted rooms for different people so if you're into the budget backpacking life which we are then you can get yourself a luxury cabana which has got slidey open glass doors with a sea view we're looking at the back of the cabana that's our, our view but in between them this horse is a beach so i'm happy with that not really much more for me to tell you to be honest that is my information of the day and we might go and see the fireflies later testing the 12,000 iso so we went back to our room, had a little change because we all know that I'm absolutely irresistible to the mosquitoes. And so I put my little leggings on. Whoa, whoa. And t shirt. <laughs> covered myself indeed. And I'm praying for a miracle that they don't like the taste of me in Takao. So, in case Cody decides not to tell you where we're going, we're going I've to see told the fireflies. I've 20 times that I'm doing the fireflies tonight. Have you? Oh, well we're going to see the fireflies anyway. 26th time. Yep. Ooh. Currently cannot see me, I'm guessing. Mm, just. Just about to see me. I'm in my boat. It's one person per boat. We've got our guide who's going to paddle us. And then we go down the river where the sky is still pink. And I'm hoping that you get to see what we see. But if you don't, we'll tell you how fantastic it was when we get back. And we apologise in advance if you see nothing. So they are the fireflies right there. I think you can just see them. Mm-hmm.